too little too late. That's what the family of a University of Utah student found dead in a Salt Lake motel room is saying tonight. It was back in February when, according to police, Hao Wong injected Shi Fan Dong with a lethal dose of drugs, killing her. But this wasn't the first time police had been called about Wong. ABC 4's Courtney John spoke to the victim's family attorney. And Courtney, what are you hearing tonight? Yeah, Emily, tonight we're learning more about who Shi Vong Dong was. Her family attorney saying that she loved music, she loved sports, crafting, and animals, even taking care of a few dogs and cats. And her family releasing a statement saying that her life was short, but in her 19 years, she lived a life that was rich and fulfilling. Her family also saying that they hope the university maintains its promise of being transparent and ultimately taking responsibility for what happened on their watch. With the university releasing a new report yesterday on what happened the days leading up to Dong's murder, attorney Brian Stewart says the timeline shared by the university is what upsets her family most. The timeline shows the university first learned about police arresting Hao Wu Wang as well as a protective order being issued on January 14th, 30 days before police say Wang murdered Dong. Stewart says Dong's family contacted her, his practice knowing that they handled a different case involving a student who had been murdered. Stewart says the first time he met Dong's parents was at the mortuary when they flew out to recover their daughter's body. They were shell-shocked and, and raw and tender. Uh, you know, um, suffering this loss far away from home <laughs> without any uh, what they perceived to be a support system. So they were <clears throat> scared and and, uh, you know, and at, at a loss for, you know, what to do or what the right thing was to do. Stewart is one of several lawyers who represented Lauren McCluskey's family suing the U of U after the student was murdered by a man she briefly dated in 2018. That lawsuit ended in a $13.5 million settlement. Now, no lawsuit has been filed in the death of Wong, but I did ask Stewart what her family wants, and he says that they have told him several times that they want her, they don't want her life or her death to be in vain, saying that they want to make changes and they want what happened to be acknowledged. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, Courtney Johns, ABC4 News.